Hey everyone, today we're going to be making a sort of like a AI blackout system. So how we're going to do this, it's actually going to be, so like, let's say we're going to have a black area, and this is what we're going to be calling the void zone. So in this zone, it's basically going to be an area where void is going to be, and void is an area where you don't want to go. And pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to go here and we're going to get our AI spawners. Now, we're going to be using just Circuits V1. We're not going to be going to V2 for this, just for the sort of kind of unstableness for now. Uh, it is still in beta, of course, which is fine. But, yeah, that's we're just going to stick with V1 for now. So, here we have... This is going to be our, like, friendly, friendly zone. And this is going to be our void zone. So, this will be our void spawner I meant, not zone. Um, so, we're actually going to set this here to hmm, let's just say a goblin now and for the um for the void zone let's do some uh tread bots which is here so basically how it's going to be is once these spawn let's do it it's going to be sort of like for a quest concept so let's say this spawns once that does the void zone will come up um and when the void zone comes up Couple seconds later, it will the it'll just black out, and then these um, these bots will come up. So either we can use state machines or delays with this. And for the more um, for the more configurable options, we're going to use state machines, which are here and other chips and on the second page. Uh, everything or all states start with a state machine, and then our states here. Uh, my rotation's a little off. Um, now, I'm not going to say this is going to be perfect, but we're just going to do that many states, just in case. It always starts here, like that. Um, and so, how it's going to be, obviously, first of all, uh, this is going to be for when we serve, join a server or something. Um, so, on enter, we're going to spawn the goblins, and we're probably just going to do um, five, five of those. Yeah, we'll do five. And then, time between spawns, we'll just do one second for this... Um, for this example and we're gonna make it so that when they spawn once all of them are spawned it's that's when it's going to allow this to go through just like that so once all the goblins are spawned then this will come out now we do need a gizmo to bring up the void zone so we're gonna put this under the map and we are going to go ahead and get ourselves a gizmo we can use animation for this but i'm just gonna use a gizmo so it's a just so it's a little quicker, but normally I would not use a gizmo. So, we're going to do it just like this. And we're actually going to do a move to target sort of concept here. Just so we don't have... Um, just so the void zone doesn't stay when you kill all the enemies. Because I want to make it so when you kill all the void enemies, the void zone goes away. Because the void is gone. And the void being the enemies. So, we're just going to put this on dot two. Um, there's no laser. It might be too little no i'm not sure the laser is gone um yeah we're just gonna link that and then this will be always on um the speed we'll do around 50 or well no 100 we'll do 100 um and for the move to target i'm not exactly sure how many centimeters that is we're gonna take a hard guess and do around 100 so we're gonna link this target position to value one and once the void comes up which would be after this value one will be 50 i'm not sure if it's 50 centimeters but we'll see and we're gonna uh, continue that down the line until um the void zone does go away which then it would be with this state so once you go or once all the enemies spawn and allows this transition we're going to use the um the sort of a chips here, these here, and um, we're going to take advantage of the environment chips. So we're going to use fog, background objects, sky dome, and um, probably the sun as well, although that is not one of the big problems. Actually, no, we won't do the sun. Um, now, the, the mood will be different. It's just that for now, I'm having it as just sunny, so it's easier to see all the circuits and stuff. So basically, when this gets through, we're going to make it so after a couple of seconds so once this goes through here um hmm. uh, let's see we'll do five seconds 
So once this raises up, we'll make it so that on enter, it will raise. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so on this one, it's 50. This one isn't 50. This one. Okay, no, yeah. This one should be 50. All right, yeah, it is. Sorry. Um, but after that five seconds, it will then start all these sky domes and stuff. Like so. Making sure those are on the right pin. Yep. Um, so, we're going to customize these sky domes. And we're just going to black everything out. So, just make everything black. 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 Horizon. Uh, that's gray. Black. And then, uh, we're going to do sort of a blend out time here. We'll do five seconds around. And we'll set that to zero. So, it's sort of just like a blackout. Instead of a fade to black. So, there's a sky dome, and then we're gonna have no mountains, we're gonna have no clouds, just like that. Perfect, perfect. And then we'll also have a fade out for that. Five seconds, sorry. And then no blend in. And then for the fog, we're going to have it black, and we're going to make the fade distance a zero. So as you can see, blackout. Uh, so the sky will be dark, since all, the, all three of these will activate at the same time. And then, yeah. Um, give that a priority, and then this one will be a little bit more of a blend out, so just another second, and then no blend in time. So then, once we're in here, this one will sort of be our timeout, so not 50 seconds. We'll do 10 seconds blacked, no, not 10 seconds blacked out, <laughs> sorry. Uh, we'll do another 5 seconds blacked out, actually, um, and in that 5 seconds... Ooh, actually, no, because we're going to spawn enemies. We'll do two and a half seconds, just like that. And we're going to have it, so on enter from blacking out, um, which this is five seconds, yeah. So, on enter of blacking out, I meant on... <laughs> I'm a mess, sorry. So, we have this AI set up. Now we have to set up this one over here. So, since we have that gizmo... Bringing up the void zone. I feel like that moved. Hmm. Guess not. Uh, so on enter, we are going to then... Or no, sorry. This will be our two and a half seconds here. This one. And with that, we are going to... Wait, what is this five seconds for? <laughs> I'm sorry. Sometimes I confuse myself on this kind of stuff. But this one's the one we'll do two and a half. And then on exit of two and a half... That's when it will disable these um, these ones here. Hmm? Oh, sorry. <laughs> and on enter of this one, so after two and a half seconds, it or in the beginning of the two and a half seconds, it will start spawning these guys, which we will set. Um, there you go. <laughs> set five, and then we'll do a second between those. Actually, no, we'll do three of these since these are void. Um, there you go. So then, once all of those are spawned, um, we won't need an exit thing for that. It'll just transition and the, the, the light will come back. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> so, once all of the... Oh, wait, I did this wrong. It's supposed to be... Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> So once all the void are destroyed, um, we're going to make it so that this will go back down regardless. So it's kind of like this will be in a temporary state. So this will be its kind sort of like a uh, waiting state. And make sure this one's on yep, value 150. Awesome. Um, and this will only activate when all of the void enemies are destroyed. And then when that activates, when that activates, the value 1 will go back to 0 and the void will fade away. Um, now, in order to start all this, we... Oh, actually, hang on. I did actually mess this up. <laughs> My bad. Um, so, since everything kind of kicks off here, we, we are going to make another state between these. Or, no. No, no, no. Our trigger zone will go to this in-between activator here. So, trigger zone. Jeez, if I can find it. Uh, here, trigger volume. Oops. Yep, there you go. So, this is going to be our test zone. And when entering zone, activate. Pretty simple. Uh, now we are going to save the room just to refresh this state. I can actually, no, I'll just send it back. <laughs> just 
just do that and then it's back and then unlink that uh, so this should be our system here uh, it looks a little confusing at first but it really isn't oh and our lasers back awesome um, so let's test this out um, oh actually I do need to get a gun to kill the AI actually um, let's do a pistol it's fine Oh, yeah, I didn't do an av mesh, nice. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, anyways, yeah, so we're gonna kill the AI, since that didn't exactly work. I forgot to do a nav mesh. Yay. So that's our nav mesh. If you don't know what a nav mesh is, it's basically the path, or it creates an environment for the AI to move around. That's why they were all kind of frozen like that. Um, but I think we need a little more time between the spawnings here. Uh, so this one should be five seconds. And then this one is two and a half. And then, um, for some reason, it automatically went to that one. I'm not sure. So we're going to... Oh, we're going to send back this, actually. That, and then put it back. Awesome. And then we're going to try this again. <laughs> So, once all of them spawn, just now, it blacks out, and then it spawns the void enemies over there, and as you can see, there is the platform over there. Um, I don't have any health, so they want to kill me, but I'm pretty close, so they're kind of annoying. Alright, so basically, it won't go from here, oh, it won't go from this state to this state without these guys dying, or until these guys die. So when we kill all these, oh, one more. It goes to the next state, and then as you can see, the void zone went down. Uh, now, I am gonna actually. This is sort of a system that I'm working on for a game that I'm gonna be making. Um, so look at the channel and f uh, looking forward to that. But how it basically is is once all the enemy, once all these guys spawn, all these chips activate at the same time. Everything blacks out, and then the void enemies spawn which would be these guys and then that platform actually comes up and then when all the void enemies are killed the platform goes down pretty simple but it's pretty cool at the same time so um something that i was going to consider here um while this is activated oh okay yeah cool no that's perfect so yeah that's pretty much it so system is it's on this uh, temporary standby state until this trigger zone is activated. Once trigger zone is activated, it gives the all clear. You go to this state, which doesn't do anything. Oh, yeah, it actually it spawns all these guys. Or it starts spawning them. And then once all of those are spawned, shown by this red chip, it will activate this bridge here. And then this is when it initiates after two and a half seconds it blacks out. Goes to all the enable pins on all these environment chips. And then, when it transitions over, there's no pass for this, it just automatically goes. And then once, after 5 seconds, it will go back and disable all the environments, and it will go back to like this. And then, this is a standby state until all of the void enemies are destroyed. And then, once they're all destroyed, it gives the pass through to this state, which then lowers the void zone. So, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching, and I will see all of you in the next video. Goodbye.